All right, we're back at Main Street Veterinarian Clinic with Dr. Jenna Hunter, and uh, once again, our pet of the week or our tip of the week. So, Absolutely. you know, one question I want to ask you about though is mosquitoes and pets. They're mm -hmm. so bad right now oh, around yes. our area. <laughs> I mean, does it affect pets the same way it does humans? Yes, absolutely. And of course, the uniqueness with mosquitoes, we all hear about West Nile, people getting West Nile. Well, horses are extremely, that's where it's coming from. Uh, a lot of it winds up coming from that we're getting exposed to. Uh, and then dogs very rarely can get affected by West Nile virus, so it's something to consider. But most importantly, mosquitoes carry heartworm disease. Mm. That's what spreads from the dog who has heartworms to the dog who may not be on pre preventative. And that mosquito can fly five miles or more, depending on which type we've got in the area, uh, and can infect not only our dogs, uh, rarely we'll get our cats that get affected uh, with heartworms as well. So how does that get transmitted? You're saying a mosquito would bite a dog and then transfer it to another dog? and that's Exactly, the yeah. The, the, the mosquito would, okay. would uh, you know, bite the dog that is not on preventative. The, the, larva, the larvae migrates, hits back in the dog when they bite the next one, and boom, you have a dog who's got heartworms. Well, the next question, then, how can we prevent it? I mean, as I went on on my back porch last night, and I mean, I wanted to come in after just a couple minutes. It was awful. So yeah, keep your pets indoors as well. Yeah, as absolutely, as absolutely. Those times of the day they tell us to try to stay inside, that's one option, of course, for trying to keep your pets in during those hours. Um, as far as for just trying to keep the mosquitoes off our dogs, uh, there's a few products, Advantix, uh, Vector 3D, some of these products that your veterinarian carries out there have some mosquito protectant as well as like Avon Skin So Soft that you and I use on ourselves. Mm -hmm. Do a light spritzing to make sure it's okay on the animals. Again, don't douse them down, but a light spritzing will generally be enough that if the dog has to go to the bathroom, we can try to keep the mosquitoes off for just a little bit of time. Okay, you gave us some of those products, but like your normal yeah. off that you'd use on humans, is that something you can spray your dog with? Uh, again, very lightly, very and, lightly. Always, and always with any product, we just check a small area on their tummy, make sure they don't get a rash from it. Just like you and me, they can be sensitive to you know products on their skin as well. Okay, good advice. There you have it, Dr. Jenna Hunter, and uh, we'll now go find out who our pet of the week is. And here she is, this is one we'll give the name Waffles. Here's her story. She was picked up at the Waffle House in Lumberton. She's about two years old, very shy and timid. No aggression whatsoever. And if you'd like to take her home, just come by the Lumberton Animal Control Center or give Don a call and he'll get you fixed up. They're located next to Lumberton City Hall.